hi guys so on my latest video i have a comment from my member so that's why i have to make this video he's asking how to spawn particle from left to right and alex how did that similar but i can't replicate i would i don't know how he did that what is video about you should give the link but spawn particles from left to right i have already tutorial if you search animate shape this one this is all about how to animate the shapes but if you want to spawn particle left to right on a mesh that's a different thing so you can do things so let me just quick give you an overview although you can watch this video then i'll show you how to spawn particle from left to right on a mesh also so basically uh, like i have this mesh this gate and i want to spawn particle from left to right or top to bottom whatever direction you want so let me just create a niagara And I'll just quickly take a minimal emitter and then here I will take the spawn rate let's say 200 spawn rate and I want a mesh shape because if you want to animate shape I have this tutorial I am recommending again so you can watch that I'll put the link also okay so we will work on mesh so I'll take a static mesh location and let me just use this mesh so i'll just browse this and use it here fix this and let me just change the size of my particle we can make this gpu so we can spawn lots of particle and it will be easier to visualize so now, now you can see particles spawning on this shape so there are lots of things you can do lots of lots of things so first thing you can just take the kill volume and if you see the size of this shape this is 100 6 98 and 120 120 is the height so you can use here the box and maybe i'll just take 120 120 120 in all direction okay and then you can invert this if you want and then you can offset this so this is you can offset with the curve also you can just break this and just put a curve or put a sign so basically first check the values so this is zero at zero it looks full at 134 it gone and in the negative minus one 125 maybe so you can just use curve from minus 30 to positive 30 okay and here i will take the normalized edge so now you can see particles spawning from left to right with these you can change the direction y or z whatever you want to use here i will just use loop direction maybe two so one way is this the second way is if you want to properly visualize it you can take this region mask and take the box again here i'll use whatever you want to use or shape you want to use after this to visualize it i'll take the color then I'll use the lerp. Color should be after the region mask. Okay. So let's say I have the red and the green color. And in the lerp, this color should be after the region mask. Then you will find here region float. And depending on the size of the bounding box, this will give me two colors of this. So red color which is uh, inside the bounding box so red color uh, green color inside the bounding box red color outside the red bounding box now you can uh, change here size this is the fadeness you can make this zero the, it will be sharp let's say i'll make this 200 200 200 and now you can offset it similar way like you did with the kill okay let me increase the particle a little more just to visualize okay so if you want just an edge here not the full half thing you can go here and instead of box just take the uh, slab and slab uh, then this is the width and then you can rotate the slab i think or you can just take the box and change the size on this axis maybe 10 now if i'll show you the an offset 
now you have this green thing so basically if i make this red thing a transparent although you can delete that part so you have this so this thing you can go from one direction to other this is like scanning your mesh from one side to another so this is one other way then there is also a way to use uvs so how you use the uvs let's say uh, why is it showing error oh so to use the uvs what you can do let's say i take kill here or there anywhere and then i'll compare is with float and here i'll take vector and then i take uh, it this mesh has a normal so by default it it gives you an output of normal if you take the right in this module c versus right is writing so many things it's also writing the normals so now you can use that normal and this is the direction you can see x is deleting from there and you can use this let me stop this with this then you can use y or you can use z whatever you want to use so it's working on normals then you can use uvs so instead of this vector here i'll take the vector 2d and now uvs is just x and y so if you'll see with the uvs also oh, i have to just uh, connect the uvs that's why i'm thinking so sample uv from the mesh so now see uv is also cutting it randomly not from one direction to other because if i'll check the uv it's not flat planar it's random so if you have a flat planar uh, let me just do it for you so i'll just duplicate my mesh control d let me just call it test i'll drag the test here let me make this unlift f zero okay and go here and take the modeling mode and then go to the uvs and project uv and we can see it's a planar you can rotate it 90 degree and then accept it so now if i open this mesh again save and open not opening yeah it's open texture is messed but the uv is straight now you can go from left to right top to bottom so if i use that mesh here and see it's precisely cutting it from top to bottom or if i use x it's cutting it from left to right cool so these are the things you can do and similarly like i did this whole things you can use instead of this you can use mesh so i'll delete this let's say you have a uh, shape location and any shape you have like a sphere or anything you can use the same kill or radi uh, region mask for that so if you have a planar box or just planar and you want particle to spawn from here to here you can also do one thing if i make this uh, like size one so it's just a uh, just an edge you can animate that edge by uh, offsetting from here so if i take this you can animate it so if i break this i can just add a curve let's say this at zero is zero at one is maybe 200 so if i now play it will animate it from here to 200 every time let's make life short so similar this way you can animate everything and please do check my this tutorial also and still if you have any issue send me the video you are talking about i will make sure to make uh, another video for you so i hope your question is answered thanks for watching keep learning bye bye